Welcome back to Defense News Weekly. I'm Diana Stancy. The Air Force is looking for ways to break new ground in advancing air capability and has been making strides in the realm of AI. Along with unmanned drone wingmen sent aloft to fight with crewed jets, it's also trained artificial intelligence to fly traditional fighters. To highlight how far they've come in that realm, the Air Force recently sent Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall aloft in one of the experimental fighters, an F-16 out of Edwards Air Force Base in California. Kendall talked about how the Air Force is thinking about the technology and how it was used in the test flight. Basically, the way we're using the, the artificial intelligence, the automation, is you know we set up a situation uh, for an engagement, if you will, and then we turn the automation on and we let it control the airplane for some period of time, a minute or two perhaps, during the engagement, uh, and then you turn it back off. And there are a number of safety features that, uh, you know, what altitude we have to be at, how close we can get to the other airplane, where it turns itself off or we would take control away from it. So I wasn't terribly worried about the, the risk of the autonomy. The F-16s, fitted with the technology called the X-62, are modified to accommodate the processing power required to fly autonomously. Test pilot Colonel James Valpiani explains. So on the back there, you can see a component that's a little bit different than what you see on most F-16s. It has there a whole series of computers that are designed to provide it an autonomy sandbox. The computer is not going to get tired. It's not scared. Um, uh, it's it's going to follow its rules and do as, as close to a perfect maneuver as it can do. Uh, whereas the humans are always going to have some variability in how they perform. 